Okay, so I wanted to make a follow-up video on my Redbubble account here. The first video, if you haven't checked it out, it's about a 35-minute video, all on me going on Redbubble for the first time to make an account and just kind of walking you through the process of how I was able to set up an account and get my product and store up and running on Redbubble. So quick update video for you here. And I sold one product in about two weeks time, maybe 13 days. But from all the other YouTube videos that I've watched on Redbubble, if you get at least one sale in your first 30 days, they think that you are on the right track. So let's just get into some updates I have here for Redbubble. So from watching all these YouTube videos, I found that you want to make your images 9,000 by 9,000 pixels wide so you don't get something like this, which this image looks pretty good on everything except for the duvet cover. You can see it has black on the sides. So if you make it 9,000 by 9,000 pixels, you're gonna be good to cover everything. So I'm gonna do a quick product upload here and show you guys how fast I am now at uploading products and how easy it is and also how to resize your images again. So also I wanted to show you a cool site called Pexels. So this is a site where anyone can upload their images that they either made or took and they're all copyright free and a lot of just high quality images on here. I'm not sure the standard you have to get to to be able to sell on here but it seems like there is some kind of approval process because all these images are just super high quality. So I already found a good image that I that I wanted to add to my store here. So I'll just open it up in my downloads. So here if you open it up in preview, which basically you just have to double click on it and it should automatically open in preview and then hit this little edit button and this to expand. So if I go 9,000 here, this should be good to cover everything that I need to upload to on Redbubble. So I'll just save that. And don't worry about that. It won't actually look like that. That's just the zoomed in picture. So exit out and it'll save that. So I did get this from Pexels and I've been getting a lot of images from there and it's a, a pretty cool site to get uh, uncopyrighted images. Okay, so now let's see how fast I can upload this and how easy it truly is. So I'll just find that image here again. It should have saved the size I need from my update. And while it's uploading, I can just write my caption. Okay, so once this image uploaded, I skip forward me typing in all the tags and description, but honestly, it took me just probably about a minute to come up with those tags. So pretty easy there. And then you can see this fits because we did update that size to 9,000. It fits perfectly on everything. And the shirt is not going to cover the entire shirt. It covers just that rectangle, but that is the full size you can get on shirts. And just make sure everything is enabled here. For some reason, they don't enable everything, even though this is fitting on everything. Um, so you never know, even though these uh, these leggings look really ugly, they, they could make a sale here. So you might as well just enable everything as long it is, as it is covering the entire product. And actually these socks look really cool. Usually my socks don't look that well or that good um, and the pin looks cool. So you can see this just took me a couple minutes. Photography. Um, it doesn't really fall into any other ones, but that's okay. So this took me less than two minutes to upload this new work. And then we can check out on the real mockups, what they look like, and we'll see how cool it looks, especially on the duvet and shower curtains and stuff like that. Okay, now on the real mockups, we can see how cool some of these blankets look and shower curtains and, and images. I mean, everything just looks really good. My computer, for some reason, is being very slow and not, not loading everything. So let's just give it a second here, and I 
We'll scroll down further. Not sure why this shirt is in red. And these are in gray. But I guess that's that's their standard because I didn't change any any kind of colors or anything. But you can see everything looks really cool. Even the leggings actually look better now that I see it on a real person. Wow, the only image to load was not to load was the comforter. That's a bummer. But you can see everything looks really cool on here. So then I wanted to show you guys my activity feed to see show you what kind of activity I have been getting on this store in the last 14 days. So you can see just my first day in, I got a couple favorites and then actually made a sale on my second day in and I thought that the sales were just going to start rolling in. So that's the only sale that I have made in these 14 days. But I am pretty satisfied with getting at least one sale and I've been uploading just a lot more products in the last four or five days here to try to continue on Redbubble and make it actually a solid form of passive income here. So on this sale you can see this was before I marked up my price on the mass but it sold for $10.56 and I made just under $2. So now I believe that I'm selling them for $13 minimum, making $2.50 more. So I would actually make about $4.50 on any other mass sales incoming. But definitely excited to get that one sale under my belt. And now I'll just show you guys what my shop looks like because I made some updates there as well. I know last video I, I couldn't even see my shop and I think that was because it takes 15 minutes for new product uploads to show up on your store. But I'll just show you some designs and how my store looks. So I added this cover photo. I just did it for free on Canva and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm using the same logo as my YouTube here. And then just some products I have. A lot of these are from Pexels I believe. Pretty much all of the images are from Pexels and then the designs like the straight out ofs and these kind of logos are ones that I was selling elsewhere on print on demand that I brought over here and see to see how they would do. But I have a good amount of products up here, 26 designs. I'm trying to get to 100 designs by the one month mark on this store and then I'll kind of relax on it a little bit, but it's pretty easy. Honestly, if you just do four or five of those a day, um, I'm, I'm gonna say like 20 minutes total of work to upload four or five designs, having to find a design you like on Pexels and then change the size and uploading it. So it's really not a lot of work. And once you get a bunch of designs up, you can kind of just let your store sit and see how it will do. And another thing I wanted to do is focus on the SEO aspect of Redbubble and see if there's any way I can improve my SEO. I will show you guys one last thing here in this video. If I can remember how to get there. There's so many different little settings here on, on Redbubble. Yeah, here we go. So you can see my traffic. So only 20 unique visitors, which is not that good. So I definitely need to improve on my SEO for Redbubble to get at least like 500 visitors to my store every month would be a pretty solid number. Hopefully I can achieve that. But I think to see any significant kind of money per month, you're going to need at least 500, maybe even a thousand visitors per month to get like a hundred dollars in a month because the the profit per sale here is very minimal compared to what you can get on Etsy. And on Etsy, for example, I will sell a shirt for $25 and then it costs me only $12 to print and ship that item out. So I'm making about $13 versus on Redbubble here, I'm making $3 to $4, maybe $5 on a shirt. So just profit per sale is not as much. And from what I'm finding so far, my audience traffic of unique visitors is not as high either. So 
definitely need to focus on the SEO. So I think my next follow up video on Redbubble will be focused on improving my SEO for these products to get as many visitors as I can. So be on the lookout for that. Also check out Pexels down below and Canva is where I made my cover photo and do some editing for other designs. And Canva is free, but they do have Canva Pro as well, where you can do things like remove the background. So I would recommend that, and then I just have a lot more features. So definitely check those out both below. And also check out my first video on Redbubble of how you set up your store and get everything set up and ready to go. And lastly, just subscribe and like this video for more kind of this content.